Here's another video for my A-level students learning to program in, in assembly code using MBLAB XIDE. Uh, so let's say that you are going to call a subroutine and then you want the program to wait, say for a button press or some other digital input to go high or low before you then go on to the next line of code. So how do you do that? So we're going to have a quick look at what I've done for this subroutine here. It's really it's quite small. It should be quite easy easy to understand. First thing that I'm going to do uh, after I've uh, called the subroutine, uh, execute this line of code, which is just going to select bank zero. In selecting bank zero, then I can check the status of one of the bits. I'm going to assume that my push button is somehow connected up to, or my digital input is somehow connected up to. Uh, I'll be three bit of port B. And so this uh, instruction here is bit test file skip if set. So if RB3 is set or logic high, it's going to skip the next command and then just immediately return. So then it would go on to the next uh, line of the code. But if uh, it's not set, so in other words, if it's zero or logic low, then it will execute that line and go to dollar uh, hopefully you remember that go to dollar just loops forever on itself uh, go to dollar minus one will loop to the previous instruction so it's just going to execute that line again and it's going to keep on doing that until um rb3 of port b is set and then it will skip that line so then it will go to return so let's uh, have a breakpoint now let's run the simulation And we'll press F7, so now we've entered into that. And then I'm just, just uh, actually, let's just have a look at port B to start off with. Port B, uh, there we go. Port B is all zeros, so it's not set. So um, it's not set, so it's not going to skip the next line. So it's now going to execute that line and then go back. Now it's just going to do that repeatedly forever, of course, because port B is currently all zeros. But you can, if you want, you can test out your code by you double click port B. RP3. So that's this this bit here is RP0. So the next one is one, two, three. So let's change that like so. I'll just press enter there. So now RP3 is actually one, logic one, logic high. So now if I then uh, this time around when it does the test. It did skip uh, because um, RB3 is set. So now it's sk so it skips the go to that is, and so now it's going to execute the return. So now it goes on to do the next command, and then goes to the go to there and just loops forever. And so really simple actually to um, have a um, a wait for a button or additional input to change state.